Welcome to the February week two installment of Stacker News. What did you miss last week in YouTube web dev? In this video, I'll highlight my favorite top 20-ish videos from last week to help you decide which to watch, and maybe you'll discover some new videos and channels that you didn't know about. Be sure to watch to the end to check out the underrated video of the week that you need to watch. If this video helps you out, help me out by liking and subscribing. All of the links to the videos mentioned will be in the description below. This is Stacker News. Before we get into the videos, I just want to remind you about an awesome virtual conference coming up this week. It's Node Congress from the Git Nation team. It's on February 18th and 19th, which is this Thursday and Friday. I'll be one of the MCs, so I hope to see you there. The first day is free and will be restreamed right here on my YouTube channel. But if you want full access to both days along with workshops, Q and A's with speakers and much more, you can get a 15% discount by using the link in the description below. At the very least, go ahead and reserve your free spot at nodecongress.com. On to other news. These are in no particular order. Knowing how to Google well is the difference between spending days debugging and finding solutions in minutes. This video from Adrian Twarg will show you how to Google like a pro developer. On the same topic, we have a video from Program with Eric where he'll show you 10 tips and tricks that will help you Google faster. And in case you missed my video last week, I used Cloudflare workers to build a Discord slash command bot and deployed it completely free. I go step by step through the process and explain exactly how it works with workers. Next up, we had several videos last week on productivity and burnout. In this video, Corey Kelly talks about how you can avoid burnout. The web development industry is fast paced and always changes. And so it's no wonder that we as web developers push ourselves to the point of burnout. Everyone deals with burnout at some point, so let Corey help you avoid it. Then we had Chris at Better Dev tell us how he stays productive with seven tips and three tools that he uses to stay productive and avoid burnout. And then we had Forrest Knight tell us his secret productivity formula. He tried many different methods to stay productive and he's honed these methods down to a science. So check it out to see if his methods might work for you. Then we also had Mayoku who let us know that it's okay to be unproductive. You see, she was frustrated with not being productive. None of us are machines, we need some downtime. So check out her story to see if you can relate. I can. Next up on the Traversy Media channel, we had some advice from Zach Gallwitzer on self-taught developer challenges. He gives us some helpful tips for self-taught developers. So check out that video and also his YouTube channel. Last week was also a week for career changes. Tech Rally gives us a life update he quit his senior software developer job after five years. So check out that video to see why. Then we had a big announcement from Chris Sean. He got a new job as a web developer. Congratulations. So check out his video for the full story and see what company he's working for now. And next up, Joe at Coding Phase talks about how you can monetize your SaaS. That's software as a service. There are several different ways. So check this video out to see which might best fit your needs. Then we had Python engineer build a stock prediction web app in Python using Streamlit, Yahoo Finance, and Facebook Profit. Last week, the Net Ninja started a new series on View 3 animations. He'll teach you how to add subtle animations, page transitions, and element transitions to your View websites. Next, I am Tim Corey teaches us how to send email in C Sharp using Fluent Email. Sending transactional emails in C Sharp is a fairly common practice, but it doesn't have to be a difficult one. Instead of struggling to get the code right, you can use Fluent Email to quickly and securely send emails using C Sharp. In this video, he'll show you how to send emails, use email templates, and how to easily test your email delivery system without using a production email server. We also had a couple of videos last week on React State Management. This one from Lee Robinson will help you decide which state management library you should use with React. He'll explain the past, present, and future of state management to help you make the correct decision for your team, project, or organization. Then we had Jack Harrington help us master TypeScript state management using just React. You'll use a to-do list to implement it using a bunch of different state managers such as use state, use context, and create context. Next up, Dave Gray shows us how to connect a form to a database in PHP using PDO. You'll learn how to use a PHP data object to connect a form to a MySQL database and integrate CRUD operations. Next, we have Jomatech who let us know why Microsoft Word is the best IDE for programming. He actually makes some pretty strong points. I might try it out. 
And speaking of code editors, Ben Awad built VS Code Clubhouse. Almost. He couldn't quite get it to work in VS Code, but check out the video to get the full story. And again, speaking of code editors, Fireship gave us a video explaining them in 100 seconds. Now for a bit of humor, check out this video from Auth0 where the DevRel team performs some security theater. You'll learn how passwords can be stolen and how you can prevent your account from being hacked by using multi-factor authentication. Here, have a cookie. Next up, Colby Fayok tells us the top five code tasks that you should automate on your project. Automating your code tasks is a way for you to get back your time by allowing robots or computers to complete your tasks, allowing you to focus more time on more important things. Basically, GitHub Actions is the answer. So check out this video to see those top five tasks. It's now time for the underrated video of the week. Do you want to learn about HTML5 Canvas? Here's a crash course for you from Frank's laboratory. He'll show you the basics to beautiful particle systems in one video, all using vanilla JavaScript. So be sure to check out this video and the Frank's Laboratory channel. I hope this was helpful. Like this video to help me out and subscribe if you haven't already for more videos like this. Thank you.